Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the RH negative blood type. Okay, so we know that RH negative people are known to have, you know, a little bit of different abilities such as heightened clairvoyance, lower blood temperature, lower heart rate, lower blood pressure. And they also have, you know, some say superhuman abilities, some describe it as an alien bloodline, a royal bloodline or something like that. But it's up to you to, you know, to think whatever you want. But the scientists cannot trace the origins. They can trace it back to um, certain areas in Europe and Mesopotamia and uh, things like that. But there's only 15% of the population that is RH negative. RH negative, you know, characteristics can be found all over the internet. You can go research that. I really don't want to get into that because that's, you know, that should be known by now. But what I want to get into is what if we know the origins and it's right in front of our face, but we just can't see it, you know? We can't see it because we're looking in the wrong places. So I've been looking and I think that I might have discovered where the RH negative blood types may have come from, okay? So everyone says, oh, everyone is from Africa, all humans come from Africa, but the RH blood type disproves that theory. So the whole evolution theory was thrown out of the window when the RH negative blood factor came into the picture. So now we have to find almost a missing link. Where is this bloodline from, okay? Some people say it's the Nephilim. Some people say it's demons. And I'm like, what if it's something totally different? Or what if it is that? Let's find out. So a lot of people say, oh, it's alien hybrid children. The aliens came down and made hybrid people. Well, that might be true. But were the aliens always here? like and where they where do they live are they still on the planet we don't know so i'm just going to take it upon myself to do my own research and by no means is this fact this is just what i came up with okay so if you know what rh negative is it's copper based um blood okay it's human blood that is copper based most humans have iron based blood and when you get to the RH factor, um, and the RH negative people, and you find copper-based blood, well, you have to understand, you know, what are copper-based beings? Like, there's only a few copper-based beings on the planet, and what would those be? Um, and if we do our research correctly, we w we it would take us to the ocean. You know what I mean? It would take us to the ocean. And we would see a few animals that are deep in the ocean that are copper based. And these copper based animals are known to have blue blood, which is why they call RH negative people blue blood. Okay. So, or blue blooded. So, we're going to have to go on that and, you know, think about certain things you know animals that have you know copper based blood they eat kelp they like this kelp because it supplies their nutrients and all that good stuff you know it, they live under the water they eat off the kelp and it even says it on these little charts that this is what they eat octopus scorpions um, they eat kelp they eat all you know the plants under the sea now this is a picture of kelp um, and you've seen so many um, already while I was talking, but kelps have a bulb as well. It's called a gas bladder. And these gas bladders are um, filled with, you know, all these different gases and um, things like that. You can research it further. Now, looking back in the ancient Sumerian tablets, we've all seen this picture of this mysterious a tree of life. Now everyone is looking at this tree and they're thinking, oh, this is a land tree. This is a land tree. The tree of life is on land. But then if you look over here, you'll see this dude looking like he has a fish tail. You'll see water everywhere on the ground. People are not um, 
you know, putting one and two together. So I believe that this tree of life is actually a kelp plant and that the beings are the Neanderthals that were created from a different species of beings from under the ocean who were fully probably or half blue bloods a kelp and they survived with kelp so they brought it to the land you know what I mean they brought the kelp to the land and they utilized it while they were on land because you know blue blood they have copper in their blood so really they um, they're much like sea creatures you know and they need certain certain things to survive so I found this poem I found this poem and it was written in 23,000 BC okay it is the first recorded poet now what is this poem about I mean look at this thing it's about kelp it's about <laughs> a snake it's about a virtual design it's about um, the sea water it, you know think about this and it talks about octopus soft green mountain strangling okay so what I'm thinking is they knew about the kelp as well you know they hid it in poetry um, then we come to the scorpion um, who's also blue-blooded and there's been a new species found the water scorpion oh my goodness okay the water scorpion is this new species now if we look back at the ancient Sumerian writings or and carvings they have this scorpion in the hieroglyphs okay and scorpions have blue blood okay y'all heard of the scorpion king he was like a god as well okay so here we have some ancient Sumerian texts as well we have like pictures of stars then we have pictures of humans and then a fish and then like this hybrid formula of like a man plus fish then we have the water and the waves at the bottom so I'm feeling like this is like merging a man and um, sea creatures you know and then we have this Sumerian tablet um, where this guy is parting either parting water coming out of the water or bringing his water with him now a lot of people will say oh this is like the Moses story but look what's in his hand a plant and he's coming out of the ocean you know so um, I, I feel like the this this picture right here this is showing like a fish up there a water up there a Sun up there and the moon up there so this could be like the hybrid or this could be the stars in the sky the Aquarius and all that kind of stuff this could be planetary or this could be also a formula for human you know hybrids and then I saw this Prince album cover I'm always looking at album covers and it kind of looks you know similar we have the um, the sea creatures coming out of the water we have this moon and then we have this lotus flower that the flower that comes out of the water um, here's a closer picture and then on the side we have this plant and this flower coming out of the water these uh, cephalopods and fish so I'm I'm not sure I just took that in there for you know just to look at it so here is one of the ancient Sumerian um, tablets with a, a god who looks like a fish okay and this was you know fish man or water sprite it's a Sumer sculpture and I feel like this should have been like already discovered <laughs> It probably has but I'm just you know and then look down there at the animals on this picture they're sea animals and all that kind of stuff so maybe they're you know ocean aliens I'm not sure but then here on this tablet you'll see one that looks almost like an insect um, or a scorpion or some type of you know grasshopper and a grasshopper is also blue-blooded okay so and then you'll still see the water still you'll see the water so we have lots of water creatures, blue-blooded creatures that are coming upon the land. And right here, you can see this almost looks like a kelp plant. And since it is surrounded by, you know, something, it could be in a glass covering. And as you can see, those two men with their hands up look like it could be holding something clear over it, like a tank or a glass or some type of shield. 
to hold the plant and then the plant will you know also supply what they need but they're different types of beings so they need other ways to survive on the land which is where this watch phenomenon comes up with this little thing that they're carrying in their hands like a purse well i believe that's a way for to stimulate their blood and their oxygen in their blood and things like that to be able to be on the surface longer without you know having adverse health effects and i'm looking at this very close okay and then i find this online okay i find this mini pulse oxim oximeter and i'm like this look just like what they got you know there's a watch on it there's a little handle a little you know so i'm reading what it says and it's an instrument to pulse and it traces your pulse and it detects the oxygen in your blood and it takes you know it takes detects i'm sorry all those things so and it monitors them so they know if they need more of this and more of that while being on the earth's surface because you know when you're underwater there's a different pressure system there's a different temperature system and your heart rate and things like that could go up or down you could have adverse health effects if you're not used to a certain environment so i believe that's why they were carrying it now you know they have the watch on their arm you know and this picture clearly shows a vein or an artery that's like hooked up or underneath the watch you know they put that anatomy there on purpose so that we could figure it out and you know I used to study anatomy um, so I know right there is a major artery and it's hooked up to the major artery so that it can give you the you know health information they also have watches these days and Fitbits and all that kind of stuff now that's catching up you know we're catching up to what used to be because they had technology you know um so i'm seeing the i think this is a kelp plant and you see there's always like a dome around it there's always this dome around it like it's in water like the kelp is in the water and no one would ever see that okay they started calling this this the ashura tree or the ashura pole or the ashura tree okay and of course y'all know that's my that is my uh youtube name my spiritual name and someone sent me this picture and they said this looks like you this looks just like you and i i said yeah it does isn't that strange but you know um so she was the goddess known as the lady of the sea motherhood of fertility she supposedly was god's wife in the hebrew texts um etc cetera, etc cetera. but they didn't want her to be worshipped anymore so they kind of hid her away um but Ashira probably would have been, you know, um, I'm thinking she was Inanna in the ancient Sumerian um, aspect. But anyway, this is an Ashira pole. It looks just like the, um, the picture of the plant that they were holding, the tree of life. Okay, so Ashira is also known as, you know, the tree of life, the Ashira tree. And <clears throat> as you can see, here it is right here. Now it's known as the Christmas tree. So the, the Christmas tree and the Ashira pole are almost the same thing. And over here you can see someone has made an Ashira uh, figure with a blue crab, which also is blue blooded. Um, I'm sorry, a horseshoe crab, but, which is also blue-blooded. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the Christmas tree is known as the Ashira tree, okay, or the Ashira pole. And you see the bulbs on the tree? Where the bulbs come from, the sea kelp, the glass, the gas bladders are the bulbs, okay? So a lot of times people, you know, are going to overlook the obvious, which is why it takes someone who's not really looking for anything to kind of see it you know what I mean so even in the Bible it, it you know they don't want you to worship a goddess they took the goddess away um, and they say you know you're not supposed to make an altar or to a Shira of any kind no Ashira tree that's a Christmas tree um, you know blah 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 but you know who do we listen to <laughs> not them so here's a picture of, you know, they even took it into ancient Egypt all the way to Greece, you know, all over the world. They have the sacred tree, 
which is the Ashira tree, which, you know, after the um, hybrids created more and more, they no longer needed the sea kelp. So they started using, um, you know, different trees to represent the Ashira tree. And they started using pine and um, for, you know, signifying longevity, long life, fertility, and things like that. And if you want to know more about that, you can go research it. But I just thought I would let you guys know, I feel like the RH negative blood type came from out of the ocean, out of the sea. It could have been extraterrestrials that live underwater. I'm not saying I'm a scientist or any kind of ancient alien, you know, person. But I feel like we came from the ocean, you know. We came from the ocean and the aliens or the beings that help create us, they are still in the ocean. They are still in the ocean. And they had advanced technology. They probably still do. And I feel like that's where the RH negative people came from. They came out of the ocean. Um, I'm sure other blood types have also been um, tampered with and are probably hybrids of other species of, you know, extraterrestrials or other types of beings. But I feel like the RH negative are a totally different species. They come out of the ocean and they are copper based blood and they have, um, you know, different physical attributes uh, as far as health. So I feel like, you know, everyone says, oh, the human race, we're all the same race. We should treat each other that way. But, you know, the fact is we, we you know, our bloodline will say different. You know, our blood types will say different. Um, and there's many accounts of, you know, people seeing creatures in the water, mermaids, mermaids, you know, um, weird things in the water. Um, so I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about it. And let me know if you know your blood type, because that's important. You know, a lot of things we know about ourselves and most of us don't know our own blood type. So what's up with that? You know? So get to know your own blood type, figure it out. Um, even if you're not an RH negative, there are special qualities for each blood type and you should go learn about it, you know. Um, I feel like we need to learn more about ourselves. That way, you know, we, we know who we are and we know what we can do. All right, so I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.